welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to my favourite event of Car Week, it's Quail. Every year this thing gets bigger and better, it's essentially a baby Goodwood Festival of Speed. And today we've got insane car launches, some of the best and rarest classic cars in the world, some of the most important car people in the world. So throughout today's video, whichever things stand out to you, cars or people, comment below, let me know what you see. Anyway, enough of my chat, let's head inside and check this place out. Now I've come over to McLaren because even though I've spent an entire week around a green centre, I thought I'd come and check out another green centre, but also wanted to point out this, which is the Senna GTR concept. Now I actually know a bit of a secret story about this car, which I'm going to discuss on one of the Behind the Glass podcasts, so stay tuned, any of you uh, listeners of the podcast. This car's not all that it seems, or maybe it's not necessarily just a Senna GTR. So yeah, cool to see here anyway. Look at the front lip, absolutely nuts. It was on display at Geneva earlier this year. Yeah. Have you been here since 6 a.m.? Have you been here since 6 a.m.? I uh, no. Front row seat. <laughs> Literally. Front row seat. I knew this is where I'd find you. <laughs> Stradman there waiting for the official unveiling of the Aventador SVJ. Images already came out last night and I think there was a sort of uh, official pa launch party last night but today they're taking the covers off for everyone to see so we'll go back in a bit once the covers are off. I'm going to keep exploring for now. I'm sure Stradman will still be there when I go back later. He's very excited. Only Team Gallag with Jackie Stewart, yeah. the mayor of Carmel. I mean, you guys, what is going on? What is going on? So what do we think, people? Here it is, the Devo. I'm actually impressed by sort of how different it looks to a Chiron. It's obviously iconically still on the underpinnings of a Chiron and recognisable as a Bugatti, but these new headlights are pretty dramatic. This sort of extended front nose, big old wing at the back. This is all about cornering and track performance. If you think of the Chiron as a big GT car, this is the thing that's honed in for doing quick times on a, on a B road or more realistically a track. I was expecting the Vision GT concept as an actual road car. This is a bit more than that. I mean, look at these side skirts. Only 40 to be made, and I think it's 5 million euros. So, I mean, I have no... I mean, I can't grasp this. I'm never going to own one. I would never be in a position to buy one. So it's a little bit of a sort of gimmick in my mind. But if you had that kind of money, would you pick it over a standard shoe? And I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But I think I prefer the classic looks of the standard car. Very cool to see here anyway. Now comes one of my favourite parts of the entire Quail event. It is the car park Concourse d'Elegance or Quelegance. Um, behind me is our very professional <laughs> judging panel. There's nothing professional about what we're about to do. But we are going to jump into some golf carts and head into the ginormous car park. Are you now lining up in some kind of the family von trap? Um, uh, we're going to head into the car parks and try and find the best cars that people have driven here today. It's, it's a fun award, it's not a particularly serious one, and as you can see, these jokers aren't gonna make it very easy, but let's go. Do we have any specific criteria that we are looking for in today's hunt? Micro cars get extra points. Micro cars, okay, micro cars get extra points. And Guys at the back. Uh, 1970s micro cars? 1970s, no. we're looking for a 1970s right. micro car. Wish us luck. <laughs> We have to clarify this very quickly for the audience. You cannot enter the Concourse de Quella Gans car parky thing without this sticker. Leave this oh, GT3 alone. It does have a sticker. This. It does. I know, but I just. But just it doesn't have a sticker. I Sam. don't care. I this. don't. I don't care about. Look at the seats. Do you see the lack of sticker? <laughs> but what is this? That's I a think that's it. I think that's it. A steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Done. Finish. Let's go back. Wow. I don't care what that is. I'm just gonna switch to here for a second because I know my audience will care a lot about this. But they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, is what's this? Ooh. Ooh, that's very up your that's street. Very pretty. Is I that, like that a lot. That's not an alcoholics, is it? That's just a very nicely put together And it is entered. It is? Looks like the colour of an SS uniform. That is very nice. 
What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> by the way, I just responded to that comment, but that's very nice that it looks like an SS uniform. I meant the car in general is nice. Guys, I like this. That's pretty amazing. I'm, this is, I'm a big fan of. I agree. It, it, it's very rare that I don't... It's a Zagato. What? What's that say on the, down the bottom? Yeah, it does say Zagato. That's not real, is it? It says Zagato on the back as well. Was that a thing? Does it have a sticker? But is, is that a thing? Thank you. That's a great t-shirt. It does not have a sticker. I do like it. What is it? We've no, gone, we've gone around. It's, it's a femur. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Dude, that is spectacular. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool way to get around Car Week as well. Actually, look, he has a back seat thing? as well. That's, th that's yeah, three people three who can people get on there. Follow some grommet. That's, that's cool. one person to a wheel. Technically, it's a tri-unicycle. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why? Why do you have to do that? <laughs> Over take it. Go on, race it, race it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Woo! Oh, oh, oh. it is. That would have got. That would have been the winner. Winner chicken dinner, I think. Hey! Hey! Woo! Bring a trailer, ladies and gentlemen. Winner, winner. Come on, that is that is pretty sick, right? I mean, we That's have a rally awesome. car here. We have a rally car. This here. is pretty baller. It's in great condition. Looks fantastic. It's what? got a Renault F1 badge on the back. Period. That's a period sticker. Oh my god, it actually does. Wow. Wow. And there we have it. The concourse is over. We have selected our winner. It's a unanimous decision. The Renault Turbo. Woohoo! Rally cars! <laughs> Time for lunch. <laughs> I've come back to the SVJ now that it's quietened down a bit and surprisingly the Strad man has now left so maybe there's another Lamborghini he's gone to check out we all know he's as big a Lambo fan as Paul Wallace but anyway what do we think of this people um, now my only slight issue with Lambo design at the moment is that all of their sort of up updates or upgrades look like aftermarket kits I think because so many aftermarket companies offered kits for the original Aventador, I feel like we've all seen it before, this could be a Novatec or a Herman Aventador. Um, obviously it's going to be fantastic to drive, it's uh, got that Nürburgring lap record so we know it's going to be fantastic but visually it hasn't really blown me away. Um, but yeah, let, let me know your thoughts, are we fans of SVJs, are we not? Uh, comment below. I have found a new obsession over here at the Jaguar stand. This is the XJ6 Greatest Hits. So, Jaguar Classic, if you don't know, are doing these sort of continuation projects. We're going to come on and talk about the D-Type very shortly. This is actually a one-off, but it's sort of done in the same vein, where they've taken an old car and restored it, but sort of modified it and just brought it into the 21st century. This was created for the drummer of Iron Maiden, the band, which is super cool. And it's just been improved in kind of every way to celebrate the XJ's 50th anniversary I think it looks amazing it's a sort of resto mod hot rod type incredible creation new headlights different grills sharper lines incredible interior I just love it but yes the Jag stand actually doing incredible things because in the middle we have the new all-electric e-type what are people thoughts on that is that is that going a stretch too far taking an iconic classic like the e-type and putting an electric in it I just think it's a very cool way to embrace the future um, Jag doing great things with electric we know the eye pace is out everyone's saying that's fantastic and yeah cool idea here but let's move on to this because if I'm not gonna try and steal this car today I might try and steal this which is the d-type continuation essentially this is a brand new d-type from the Jaguar factory so it's like it was back in the 50s you could go into Jaguar and order one of these now it turns out brand new built from factory which I think is amazing uh, stunning color stunning car I actually had the amazing opportunity to go in a d-type recently it wasn't filmed but I went in the passenger seat and it's now possible Possibly my favorite classic car of all time. It's just incredible. And obviously, lots of you will know that the Jaguar Project 7 F Type was inspired by the D Type, so yeah, lots of love. BMW Z4 
feel like the launch of this was a little bit subdued. Um, images did come out again online, but now here it is in the flesh, and I have to say I think it's really good looking. A car that maybe needed a bit of an update. The old Z4's been out for a while. A car that I always kind of liked. Um, and I think they've done well with this. It's sort of subtle updates, but brought it into the new look. I think BMW, design-wise, are doing great things at the moment. All their concepts, all their sort of new cars seem to be really good looking, in my opinion, and this one fits that mold entirely. So yeah, be interesting to get behind the wheel of this one day. Um, also interesting that it's in satin paint. Satin paint's so hard right now. What I love is that when you leave the Quail, the cars parked outside it are sometimes better than the cars inside it. Check out this green carbon Chiron with a tan interior. I mean, that's my spec. That's my Chiron spec. Who's ordered my car? Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.